So today we have a fire stick that um, our friend dropped into me, said um, well, it's not really working right, but that they can't uninstall or install apps or something. And yeah, it's saying that there's no memory, even though I don't think there's really any apps installed on that. So they handed it in to me to see could I fix it up and get it running for them again. So we're going to see what we can do. So we're going to plug it in here. And let's see what comes up. So they don't actually, they didn't actually give me the remote. So I have my um, OTG cable here with my uh, USB for my keyboard and mouse. And then I actually have a spare controller here. So once I get in, I'll be able to connect up this controller and get it going. So if we plug in the cable, let's hope it'll start up and let's see what we get. So I presume, I'm going to presume this is probably a fire stick light, I think, not the 4K ones anyways. Um, and I do, if anyone is buying fire sticks or that, I recommend getting the 4K ones just to have the extra bit of RAM, extra bit of storage, extra CPU power. Um, it does last you the long run. Um, instead that these, these light ones get slow very quick. So let's, let's see, see it loading up and see what happens. Okay, so let's see. What apps can we see? Okay, so and getting everything. Let's just zoom, zoom a bit more. There we go, Should we see it all there. So yes, yeah, looks like there's only two. Oh wait, better connect it to my internet first actually. So I'll just run through connecting to the internet and be back in a second once it's connected up. Okay, so it's connected now to the internet, so I'm just going to actually show you then how to connect the remote as well. So we go into Amazon Fire TV remotes, we go to add new remote. So I hold the home button on this remote for 10 seconds. It'll pop up. There it is, um, with the keyboard then. So it's ready to prepare. And then we have this now, the remote working, so we can use this now as well. So let's see, first thing we'll do is just go into applications. Just Okay, so you can see there, if we go back. So we've only 678 megs free of the five gigs, even though no apps are showing up. So that's a bit strange. So there's something after happening. Hmm. So again, I just look at. Storage, where is that? We'll do is we'll just do a run through an update there um, and see where it restarts and is that affected. So I'll let it run through here and come back then when it's updated. Okay, so the device, we've restarted this. Um, this is after coming up, low on storage. So even though there's no apps popping up, um, is these are never used 
and that's all. So I'm not really sure why all the storage, where it's all been. Oh, must be updating again. Okay, don't know why it's doing that again. Okay, we'll wait till that's done again. Okay, so it's back again now. Don't know what was going on there. Um, see now. So if it's like this now that nothing's coming up and we still have no storage, no, we still have no storage. Um, this can happen with these devices, I think. Um, and probably the best thing to do, so the apps are all still there. Um, now we could go through and, it's not even showing them. You could download a, a file explorer and see where all the, the storage is being used um, and try to do it that way. But I think the best thing, if this does happen to your device where it is like this, um, the best thing to do is we're just going to do a factory reset on the device and log back in with all the same details. So I think that's probably the easiest thing to do. Um, reset the factory and um, enable developer options again, install the apps that was already there and have it going from fresh. So again, this is with the, I think with the, as I said, this is the, well, it's not a light one, but it's not the 4K ones, third gen. But with some of the cheaper ones there, they don't seem to last as long as the Fire Stick 4K ones. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to start to reset. So everything will be lost. It'll be like we just bought a brand new again. And we'd have to go through the setup process, but this should this should help with our um, storage issue that we're having and have the apps pop up again for us. So once it goes through, so we let it go through the reset. And we'll come back then once it's ready to set up for for new again. Okay, so it's set back up. Fresh install now, so hopefully it finds a remote. Okay, English, United Kingdom will pick. And we'll set up with the remote. Okay, so we're back and logged in, so <clears throat> we could actually just go and restore Fire TV. So we just uh, restore it from one of these ones here, any of these shouldn't be too long. And then we're just going to check the, the storage, make sure that the storage is working as it should do, and that should be fine then. Again, we can go in and developer mode and everything again then. So we just go straight through. See now what do we have? Okay, so you can see there now. Oh, we're to developer, but you can see we have four gigs available. So that was only the 600 before with no apps on it. But now you can see all the apps are starting to get installed. So it looks like this is back working for another while. So yeah, I hope if anyone runs into an issue like this, um, simple thing is just reset it all again back to the start and then you can go from there again so thanks everyone for watching see you again